Hello, welcome to the fourth installment of the Worldwide Center of Mathematics video series on Indian mathematics. Today we'll be talking about the contributions of the mathematician Madhava of Sangha Magrama, who we'll refer to as Madhava for the rest of this video. Although many of his original works were lost, uh, his students ensured that his work survived, and we'll be talking about that work today. Like several of the mathematicians in this series, Madhava was also an astronomer. In addition to his contributions in mathematics uh, that we will discuss, Madhava made uh, several contributions to astronomy. Most notably, he was able to devise a system that estimated the position of the moon every 36 minutes. Though he's not primarily known for his contributions to calculus, he established the Kerala School of Astronomy and Mathematics, where mathematicians worked with ideas that are important to calculus. Although, differ although differentiation and integration uh, weren't pioneered at the school, uh, the students at the school gave some of the first examples of power series. Before Madhava, mathematicians had stayed away from working with infinite series. A lot of work had been accomplished with finite series, but Madhava confirmed that infinite series could solidify conclusions made with a finite series. For example, uh, since the ancient, Greek, the ancient Greeks had known that the sum of one half plus one quarter plus one eighth and so on uh, approached one, um, but since they only worked with finite series, they couldn't assume that it that would converge to one. Uh, Madhava, however, uh, confirmed that with an infinite series, uh, one half plus one fourth plus one eighth um, and so on will converge to one. Madhava's most well most well known contributions with infinite series are in the field of, of trigonometry. Using infinite series, he was able to approximate trigonometric functions that wouldn't be discovered in Europe for several centuries. He was able to approximate sine of x as the infinite series x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial minus x to the seventh over 7 factorial, and so on and so forth, uh, which can be simplified as the infinite sum of x to the 2k plus 1 divided by 2k plus 1 factorial uh, for k equal to all integers uh, greater than or equal to 0. He did the same thing for cosine of x, discovering that it was equal to 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the 4th over 4 factorial minus x to the 6th over 6 factorial and so on, uh, which again can be simplified as an alternating infinite series. Um, the sum of x to the 2k over 2k factorial for k equal to all integers greater than or equal to uh, 0. He was also able to derive an infinite expression for the arc tangent of theta, which is equal to the alternating infinite series uh, theta minus theta cubed over 3 plus theta to the 5th power over 5 uh, minus theta to the 7th power over 7 and so on. Additionally, he discovered that theta is equal to the alternate alternating infinite series tan of theta minus tan of theta cubed over 3 factorial plus tan of theta to the, uh, to the fifth power over 5 factorial um, and so on and so forth. Uh, this series today is often called the Gregory series uh, named after the mathematician James Gregory who discovered it in the 17th century. However, uh, this is three centuries after Madhava made the same discovery and today the formula is now commonly referred to as the Madhava Gregory formula. Uh, although Madhava made several other important contributions to mathematics, uh, the final thing we'll discuss today is his work with pi. Uh, Madhava gave multiple infinite series to estimate the value of pi. Uh, the first expression is the infinite series uh, pi over 4 uh, being equal to 1 minus 1 third plus 1 fifth minus 1 seventh and so on, uh, which can be simplified as the infinite sum of negative 1 to the n minus 1 power divided by 2n minus 1 for all positive integers. Uh, this is known as the Madhava Le uh, Leibniz formula, named after both Madhava and Leibniz, who discovered it in Europe centuries later. In addition to this formula, he also gave the more rapidly converging series of pi, which was equal to the square root of 12 times 1 minus 1 over 3 times 3 plus 1 over 5 times 3 squared minus 1 over 7 times 3 cubed. Um, so on and so forth, which can be simplified as the square root of 12 times the sum of the infinite series of 1 over 2n minus 1 times 3 to the n minus 1 uh, for all positive integers. Using this approximation, 
was able to approximate pi correctly to 17 decimal places, namely 3.14159265358979324. Thank you so much for watching this video on Madhava. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the rest of the series. Thank you.